Hey guys, it's Melanie. <laughs> I know you didn't recognize me because obvious reasons. Huge thank you to Gillette Venus for sponsoring this video. I am super, super excited about it. Like I'm excited about everything. I absolutely love this Venus and Vera Bradley collection. I actually really love Vera Bradley also. I'm depressed because they closed the one near me. But thank God they have razors with them now and they're available exclusively at Target which we all know Target's also like my second home so. Oh my face is itchy. Ah, I don't know why I decided. Okay. Ah. I forgot to film an intro and I don't know why I thought the best idea would be to introduce myself when I have this freaking face mask on. Probably scared away half of the people coming to watch this video, but if you're still here, thanks. I love you. In today's video, I am showing you guys- Clearly. Oh my gosh, I'm so itchy. I'm showing you guys my after school slash night routine. I realized I have never done one of these, which is kind of crazy because it's kind of like a basic video and I'm a- Basic girl clearly so i figured i'd do one today other than that oh my gosh this is awkward you can see me filming let's get into this video with running start my school schedule is really whack so this day i actually didn't have any classes so of course i had to make my daily trip to target so i just shopped around a little target once again trapped me into buying all the things that i really do not need um don't really know what i'm doing here or here <laughs> Then I got distracted again and bought another cup because yeah, we love that. After buying a bunch of stuff that I don't need, I made my daily trip to Starbucks. This is me sitting in my little corner doing my studies and being productive. Almost every day I go to a cafe or the library to study and do homework and edit and all that fun stuff. As you can see, I'm still putting in full effort on my notes because I've been in school for a solid two days. So this is a very sped up video of me trying very hard to write about three words. This probably took like 30 minutes. It's okay though because my notes turned out kind of pretty. Then I just keep on grinding, you know, doing the schoolwork. This is a little clip where I got distracted by the lovely Seattle weather. Then I also got distracted and ended up watching some 911, my new favorite show. I also edited a little. After getting kicked out of Starbucks when they close, a typical day, I usually get home from either a cafe, library, school, or work, anywhere in between 6 to 9. Once I get home, I usually make a beeline straight for my room where I cave out and hide for a little while. The first thing I do there is I have to change into something more comfy. Not that this isn't comfy because it's basically pajamas, but I change into something even more comfy, aka an oversized hoodie because I'm basic like that. Then I head downstairs to the kitchen where I like to exhibit some of my master chef Gordon Ramsay skills. Since I'm out most of the day, I like to kind of meal prep I guess and make myself my lunch the night before. So here I'm just making some little stir fry thingamajigger for the next day. Then I just headed upstairs to take a shower. This night I decided not to wash my hair so I just clipped it up like this. I know I look stupid. You guys better appreciate these clips because filming this was literally the biggest struggle ever. I was holding my camera in one hand while trying to wash my face. It was not a good idea. I absolutely love this Vera Bradley and Venus razor and shave gel. It actually makes your legs feel so smooth and I personally love how soft my legs feel after. Not only does it work super well, but the packaging is really adorable too, so it's perfect for back to school season or if you're in college and bringing it with you wherever you go. This is also the shampoo, conditioner, and soap that I use, not that anybody cares. Here's me coming out of the shower looking cute and doing a rad transition. For some reason, I decided to take my braids out. Didn't really make sense, not really sure why I did that. Then I tried to do the two-step visco girl bun. That didn't really work either, so then I just did my normal bun. Now that my hair is out of my face, I decided to do a face mask. This is me realizing I probably should have done this before I showered because that makes more sense. But, you know, who really cares? Every time I do face masks, it just reminds me of this TikTok that I saw of this girl layering as many as 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 much 
as many layers of face mask that she could on her face and it literally it, it stressed me out like no other she put like four whole bottles freaking clay mask on our face i kind of want to try it now then of course we gotta use some vaseline because i'm crusty i then go to my room while i wait for my face mask to dry and i usually just look at myself in the mirror for about 20 minutes All right, the lighting is bad. So, using my phone. Oh. Guys, we love this DIY lighting setup. She's a real YouTuber right here. It's not even working, bro. Oh, there we go. <laughs> my legs, they're so soft. They're like shiny. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What the heck is going on? <laughs> this video is honestly- I'm right now. Okay, I never lotion myself, but I figured I have nothing else to do while this face mask is on. Dude, my legs are so soft. Then next like week after I shave my legs, I just feel so good about myself, honestly. And then once my hair grows back, I feel disgusting. But that's okay. That's why we have razors. I also used to suck at shaving. I didn't know you were supposed to shave the back of your leg. And I also didn't know you are supposed to shave your thighs. So literally the only thing I would shave is this little like rectangle, like your shin. Oh, that's what's called Melanie. And I'd also do streaks. Like I wouldn't pay attention at all. So there'd be like lines of hair. It was kind of disgusting. I do want to point out here that I'm not saying by any means that you have to shave your legs. But personally, I like to because I just like the way my smooth legs feel so soft okay that's enough i then aggressively throw my computer onto my bed and grind out some homework or editing or basically whatever i didn't finish at the cafe or library from the day so here are some super fun and entertaining clips of me editing once i finish up whatever i had to do on my list you know and my face mask is all dry i go to the sink to wash that baby off i absolutely hate washing face masks off because the water like gets on your arms it's kind of disgusting <laughs> I feel like a new person. Wow. Then I head back to my room to moisturize because my skin is more dry than my personality. So I just use this Neutrogena moisturizer and rub that baby in. I also like to pack my school bag or whatever bag I'm using for the next day, the night before, because we don't have time for that in the morning. So I just threw in whatever notebooks and my laptop that I need for the next day. We're watching the finale of Bachelor in Paradise. If you couldn't already tell from that beautiful clip, my mom and I like to watch our shows together almost every night. So this night we were watching the finale of the Bachelor in Paradise. And as you can tell, we were very excited. I'm gonna try to ignore the fact that I watch shows for like two hours every night, but at least I try to be a little productive. Sometimes I'll edit, and of course I have to cut fruit while I watch my show. What the heck fell off? No, nothing is broken. What? Oh my goodness. My tripod, it's broken. After I broke my tripod, here's just some shaky clips of me cutting watermelon. I then realized that it's way past my bedtime and I'm falling asleep on the couch again. So I drag myself up to my room where I immediately crash without brushing my teeth or doing any of my personal hygiene. Just kidding guys, I'm not disgusting, okay? I go to the bathroom, brush my teeth like a normal human being, and I also like to pick out my outfit for the next day, which usually takes another hour because I suck at picking my outfits. But this is pretty much the only way that I can will myself to wear something that's not sweatpants to school, so I have to do it the night before. Once I've finally decided on my outfit, then I go to bed. And that's pretty much it for my night routine. Thanks for watching, guys! Yeah.